Welcome back everyone. I hope you're having a good day today. Remember to grab a piece of paper and a pencil and pull out your Life of Fred Apples book if you have one. If not, that's fine too. Today we're going to be going over chapter 11, page 75, and the title is The Hungry Bird. The bird kept looking at Fred. Fred was used to being looked at when he taught math at the college, but this seemed different. The bird repeated himself, it is noon and I am hungry. Fred said, I'll be back in a second and ran downstairs to the kitchen in the boat. He left the bird sitting on the boat. Fred looked around in the kitchen. In one drawer, he found a whole bunch of candy. That's perfect, he thought to himself. That will fill up that big bird and he won't be hungry anymore. Fred put the candy in a large bowl and brought it up. He tried to smile as he offered the bowl to the bird. Candy, the bird shouted. Who do you think I am? I'm not stupid. That junk will rot my teeth. The bird threw the bowl overboard. Fred said, I'll be back in a minute and ran down to the kitchen again. He found some pancake mix, added some water and stirred it. Soon, he had a very large stack of pancakes to offer the bird. He wanted the bird to be very full. Fred put butter on top of the pancakes but didn't add any syrup. He knew the bird didn't like a lot of sugary stuff. With difficulty, he carried the giant plate of pancakes up the stairs and offered it to the bird. The bird wasn't very interested in the pancakes. He wasn't even looking at them. Instead, he was looking at Fred. Fred had to ask, Are you a carnivore? He had trouble saying the last word. He was afraid of what the bird was going to answer. I'll be back in a minute, Fred said. Fred raced down the stairs to the kitchen. He opened the refrigerator and found the perfect solution, bacon and eggs. The bird loved them. After he finished eating, he shouted, more. Fred ran downstairs. He cooked five more eggs and five more strips of bacon. Two eggs plus five eggs equals seven eggs. Two strips of bacon plus five strips of bacon equals seven strips of bacon. The bird was so full that he couldn't fly. He fell off the edge of the boat and had to swim to get to the land. Two plus five equals seven had a very happy ending for Fred. He didn't get eaten by the bird. He looked at the clock on his boat. It was now one o'clock. Fred took the boat with its sail in the shape of a triangle and headed across the lake. He wanted to get all the way to the other side. He was so happy that the people who owned the boats had put all that food in the kitchen on the boat. When he got back to the boat house, he was going to leave some money there to pay for the food that he had used. The sun was shining, the bird was gone, it had turned out to be a beautiful February day. Fred made up a song and began to sing. The skies are blue in Kansas land, each morning brings its new delights. I think the one who made all this, the breeze, the waves, the math I teach, and students whom I love their smiles. They offer me, let's not forget, those seven eggs and seven strips of bacon. Fred stopped singing. Something was happening. The boat had sprung a leak. Okay, that's it for today. Remember you can press pause at any time. And are you ready for your turn to play? Ready? Let's begin. Number one, name a set that has seven members. Number two, 
Four plus three equals what? Number three, seven plus zero equals what? Number four, counting by fives, write down the numbers from zero to 20. Number five, what is the fourth day of the week? Number six, cows eat grass and other plants. Which is true? A, cows are carnivores. B, cows are herbivores. Or C, cows are crazy. All right, here are the answers. You go ahead and check your work. You can press pause at any time. That's it for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this lesson. Are you ready for today's homeschooling meme? Here you go. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that one. I'll see you tomorrow for chapter 12. Bye.